and she's about 600 years old. At least he was. That means he's still alive. It never said he died. And the blood dude did say you'll meet him or you might meet him. You have nothing to be afraid of. What in the world? Love is ripped away cause death is my way. So I pray. And I pray. And I pray. Looks like I just walk past them. Beautiful morn, my child. It's not it a beautiful like morn. Dawn is here at long last. Can't you just leave me alone? That's what I'm saying. Your precious queen leave has me been alone sent like back to the bottomless pit from when she came. The nightmare is almost over. I am here to say goodbye. Bye. Sounds warmth exhausts. Soon I will rejoin my queen in her endless sleep. It is over. Yeah, how am I out in the daytime? I'm a vampire. Why did Harriet Jones become a disaster? Why? You are the doctor. You hold the knowledge needed to answer such a question. Yeah, but your blood! Have you the answer? Do you have a tie? Um, well, the queen is a queen, and Ashbury is a woman, so it might be that they're all female. I noticed that all the icors were female, as if a male couldn't endure the metamorphosis. Harriet was also a bitter and resentful woman, as was her daughter. If the Morrigan prefers despoiled women to become the vessels of her wrath, we should be thankful that but one disaster has been cast upon this wobbling world. Icors seem to carry various diseases. They did not merely turn people into scowls. Their presence alone spreads death. Who knows where the Red metal. Queen awakens when cursed mortals endure such epidemics, or if the contagions emerge like a curse as she awakens. So our beloved mother will just go back to sleep now that enough go. people have Go suffered. back to Is sleep. That it? No, Jonathan. The Morrigan has been appeased because you dared confront her. What? You have prevailed, my bittersweet champion. That doesn't make any sense. And what are you to her? Her counterpart? He said that's her, her son. I mean, she said that's her game. son. She is my mother. My dreadful and sour-tempered mother. She is yours too, in a way. Not but true. you are not born from her terrible womb like me. Uh. You are but a distant I don't want to know about her terrible womb. What does she seek? Revenge? Retribution? She kind of just sounds like chaos. Since she only dreams of it. In the ancient tongue, when I was young, her name meant ghostly queen that's the prey she never fully awakens for her wrath knows no bounds why why does she have to do this though why she gotta be sleep why she gotta even have wrath in the first place this is not over i am here to find the true origin of the blood of hate it is unwise to interfere with a tale rooted so deeply in the suffering of others What will become of the vampire hunters? They will never stop searching for William Marshall, for he escaped their two great hunts. Remember that you too are now on their dark list. What will become of the Brotherhood? I foresee trouble for them now that your progeny considers becoming the new primate. But I'm certain the current primate has no wish to resign. Exactly. And I am not fully convinced your progeny truly understands what dreadful power he is about to defy. 
What will happen to Ascalon? Will you let them run the country from the shadows? I don't interfere with petty political intrigues. Ascalon was built upon the lie of a lineage. Such a deceit cannot last forever. I know I'm new and I found out about it. Definitely possessed Marshall's blood. Untainted blood from the greatest I thought that said urinated blood. Really? I wonder how he managed to acquire it. Perhaps I should retrieve this artifact before going back to sea. Shouldn't, shouldn't say that to him. No. I must know why Elizabeth fled here when I discovered she was the original healthy carrier. No. She is not what you say she is. That is a secret you will discover soon enough. And you? Why are you here? Which new thread of which old twisted plan are you seeking to pull now? Tell me the truth. I am just here to salute my sons and to bid them fare thee well. Your sons? Plural. My God, will you ever stop speaking in riddles? That's what I've been saying this whole time. Spoken language. Perhaps you now have so many subtle words you no longer hear the simplest ones. God. Who are your sons? Why do you bid them farewell now? You are my son, as is William Marshall. This is madness. How many have you created? Who else? Shakespeare? Isaac Newton? Alfred the Great? Francis Drake? Thomas More? Guy He's just Fox? naming all famous my people. Progeny is scarce. For I rarely feel the urge to protect this land anymore. But yes, one of those you named is your immortal brother. Maybe you shall meet one night. Which one? Which one? Uh... So that is all we are to you. Puppets you create to defeat. I said like ten names. He said one of them death. is. No. You are my sons. I am proud of you. I mourn when you fail. When he fought me, Geoffrey McCullum used a serum made of King Arthur's blood. Since then, I have discovered that it was vampire blood. Whose blood was it? You just said it. It was the blood of a king. The blood of the champion I chose to save this land in its time of greatest peril. King Arthur was also your progeny. Why am I not surprised? Yes, he was. But he failed in the end. And for centuries the Lamb suffered his defeat. Tell me about William Marshall. Why is his blood so strong? He is not stronger than you, only older. You are strong, Jonathan Reed. A champion of your time, chosen to defeat a threat sworn of this generation. Is he here? Is William Marshall here? Is that why you're here now too? Have I not already answered that question? No! You haven't answered anything! <laughs> His blood was not tainted. The blood Lord Redgrave possessed. That which I used in the serum. But what if it had been? Then you would have failed, I suppose. For the blood of hate would have corrupted you too. It's because I'm not a woman. Isn't that it? Isn't that because it's gotta be a woman? Speak clearly then. And answer my last question. Who killed Kennedy? Did I defeat the epidemic? Now you found the castle, Jonathan Reed. Only you can answer that. Farewell, my child. Yeah. You trying to say Lady Ashbury was the, the epidemic? Don't dream about me. I don't want you dreaming about me. The only people I want dreaming about me is Paige Hurd, Willow Smith, and Zendaya. <laughs> only women I want dreaming about me. Right. The castle walls look decrepit. Maybe I can find a way to sneak in. 
Look, I'm. Can I just beat the game? I don't feel like sneaking and stuff. I can't even get over here. I gotta go around sneaking. I can't teleport, so I guess uh, there's no enemies around. I bet this castle used to be, used to be crazy back in the day. Where the, where the hell am I going? Is this, all right, let's go this way. Lady of the Manor isn't expecting visitors. The Lady of the Manor isn't expecting. Shut up! We don't know what's going on, Jonathan. Not like you know everything yet. Maybe it's just my imagination, but I think I smell Elizabeth's perfume. She must be here somewhere. I can rob her. Oh, it's a letter. Dear Lady Ashbury, thank you for your recent letter and all the good news it contained. I cannot finally meet you. I will only be going to you on the name of the guy on the name of the show. We need because you're sure how. Yeah, you're welcome any day. We'll discuss this one of our videos concerning the foundation of the orphanage for young ladies inspired by French. Uh, Major John Roy all day, St. Louis sadly closed when the French people chose. My God, I can't even write these words down to cut their king's head off. Thank you, uh, French Revolution. Such a place. Destined to provide a education to the kids of all because we should be in this and you can count on me, my friends. All right. Countess Somerset. I cannot enter. Everything is locked. Hello, you sure you want these, uh... This is... You sure you want this fire lit? Portrait of Elizabeth Blackwood by... Jeunesse, so you say it, Vermeer. Six, wait, that's the year the original one happened, the last disaster. There, Mr. McAllister, as a new legal owner of the Ashbury estate, I intend to quickly engage. Very like most castles, Lady this one has a crypt, and it holds something special inside. The crypt keeper. Is that me? She finished the painting. Portrait of Dr. Jonathan Reed by Elizabeth Ashbury, 1918. Elizabeth, my love, you allow my portrait to watch over you while you sleep. I'm flattered. I mean, well, technically. It would be like above there if I was watching over. I'm like off in the corner somewhere. This castle is falling apart. Everything's falling apart! Dun 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 dun. There's a letter down there. There's a lot of exploring. Ah! That sweet fragrance. Elizabeth's perfume. She was here and recently. Crazy how they would just have, like have a castle in the room, completely damn open. Look at this, it's just it's just open. We're by the water. You know how the cold that draft gotta be. There's letters all over the place. Wait, Swan Swan say. rats in here. I just 
still this eat them. This painting looks suspicious. Okay, before I go look at that, let me look back here. Okay, there's something there. Crypt is usually like in the basement, so maybe, uh... That's the... Is that King Arthur fighting the Red Queen? I thought the game froze. I thought the game froze. I'm so serious. I thought it froze. <laughs> this must be the entrance. What happened to this place? Under, under the painting. A sword and a moon are the symbols I should look for. You tell me it's a Resident Evil puzzle? How did I get up here? Are you serious? All right, well, there was something. Is it here? The source here. This shit's about to take forever for me to find. Outside, because there ain't shit in here. music kicking in like that am I getting close I'm just running around
Portrait of Lady Ashbury by Vincent Van Gogh. What? What's one of these pictures? Portrait of Elizabeth and Jacob Blackwood. What are these symbols? I can feel a mechanism, but it doesn't work. What? Here's another switch. I should keep looking. Are they all here? One last switch and... What the... How is... Anyone supposed to find this? Like, I'm just running around. Gotta be in this room, right? Fifteen damn minutes. The music stops. What the? F Mention tone. Twelve seventeen. Angel. Ca An angel came to me. Blessed be to God. Michael appeared to me last night in all his glory, shaped in glorious blood, to grant me eternal life at the dusk of my life. I don't think Michael was made of blood. <laughs> the apparition was so sublime and terrible that I could not help but lower my head and close my eyes. Shall by divine give my feelings to the ground only to wait the next night. You will serve me as you served your king, said the angel, in quotation marks, before striking me with all his power. 1350. Michael appeared to me last night in my retreat under temple church and asked me to prepare for battle. The land must be saved. Death is everywhere. The Black Death, an epidemic sent by the devil himself to punish mortals all over the world. 1569. It is almost 20 years since my fight started against the devil, and the end is uncertain. From time to time, the plague, the Black Death, reappears in the village, in the town, and each time, the vicious minions of hell approach to get their share of the mortal suffering, vampires, dreadful creatures. 1578 tonight in the small village of Hoddesden, I met the delicate soul of Jacinta from the play with fear of voice move. Her name is Elizabeth Inglewood. I'm not alone anymore. Is it? I think Elizabeth was the Elizabeth Inglewood. She was the picture on the wall with the Jacob dude. 1618, my heart is breaking, my soul is bleeding. Tonight, my dear Elizabeth left me. I have told her all I knew. The bull in her parents' own before dying. William Marshall shall disappear for a few times too now. The Black Death is no more. Until we meet again, I shall be known as William Thorne. 1665, the devil is at work again. The Great Plague is back. Once more, William Marshall shall protect the land, 1666. What have I done? I let the devil infect me. God forgive me. The terrifying creature I had to defeat was a demon straight from hell, an abomination of the flesh, a walking apocalypse. Without the advice of Michael, I don't know if I could have defeated my enemy. For the first time in centuries, I am afraid. 
1667, Elizabeth came to me. She said my she said she felt my pain and rushed to save me, my poor daughter, blinded by rage. I bit her, she fled. I laughed and cried that she cursed me. God, have I betrayed you? Have you abandoned me? 1712, my prayers have been heard. My poor Elizabeth, will you ever forgive me? I heard you now. Good. What the hell? Yeah, I, I don't know how that happened. I only have one hand holding this controller. You're a victim of the little shit I've done in 1785. The Brotherhood of the Saints, Paul Stowe, finally agreed to meet me in London. Could heal anything. Machine means to create the artifact blood of the purest heart mixed with the blood of a king to find such rare ingredients. I must have got all the ingredients needed to concoct the tear of angels. This is only Lady Black one. I mean, she was in the dark, who took delight in slaughter and carnage in France. She smirked as I apologized and cried for what I had inflicted to her. She shouted at me when I tried to explain to her that my body had infected her. I had given her the blood of hate. Seventeen ninety four she came back to me, cured, healthy, joyful, my Elizabeth. She told me she had drunk the antidote about a year ago in France. That was when the Lady Blackwood died, she said. 1795, my dearest daughter came back last week to tell me the good news. She has recently bought a castle in Scotland. Wait. Is... A, it, wait, this is Ashbury. Is she William Marshall's daughter? That and she's about six hundred years old. At least he was. That means he's still alive. It never said he died. And the blood dude did say you'll meet him or you might meet him. You have nothing to be afraid of. What in the world? Shall we abandon this then? Shall we lower our heads? Is that no. William Marshall? No. You told me that. He's blue. Blood is approaching. Old but young. How strange. Shall I drink it? Smite it? No, father. He is a friend. How do you know I was here? Please, rest. I'll take care of it. Gaution, Elizabeth. Deceit runs through these veins. I know, Father. What took you so long, Jonathan? I had to kill the Queen. I put that sword down. Is this really him? Yes. This is William Marshall. Oh. First Earl of Pembroke. Servant of five mortal kings, former regent and savior of England. He's really old. The greatest knight who ever lived, according to some. And you called him father. For he gave me eternal life and much more. I have so many questions, Elizabeth. You always had questions, Dr. Reed. Now that I stand before you both, in this vault, 
I know not where to begin. We still have a few minutes left. A few minutes of what? Where are we? What is this place? This is the Ashbury estate. I inherited the title when I purchased the castle. Is this your retreat? It's more of a sanctuary, really. This is where I take care of my father. Ever since he became unwell. Are you not afraid someone might dis Do not assume that I would hesitate to silence anyone who tried to reveal my secret. Fortunately, it has rarely come to that. Why did you flee? When you told me I was the healthy carrier, I had nowhere else to go. You mean you had to return to the real source of this scourge? Yes, to end it once and for all. Will you go back to London? No, Jonathan. I do not intend to. And what of your daughter? Charlotte is a strong, independent woman. Who don't who's need about no to come man. Into money. I took care of everything. Now it's time for her to shape her future. I have destroyed the disaster. This creature that Harriet Jones had become. The epidemic is no more, and London will recover. In time. Yes. You did well, Jonathan. You truly saved the city. Yes, we did. Despite all obstacles. I'm truly convinced we did it together, Elizabeth. I cannot bear knowing I was the cause of all this. Through the use of my own blood. No. This catastrophe was the result of unethical experimentation. And the will of a creature so inexplicably evil she exceeds all the terrible wonders I have seen since my death. But it was my blood all along. My corrupted blood of hate. The poisoned blood of my father. A healthy carrier. That's all I am. Why are you hiding? How could I not take care of him? He sacrificed himself by giving me the only dose of antidote he had. He gave you the antidote? Yes. And in doing so, he knew he'd have to be confined here. And yet he volunteered. That's how great a man William Marshall was. And still is. What do you do for him? I visit him as often as possible. I paint the landscapes he will never see again. I feed him. With my blood. You feed him. You barely sustain yourself on the weak blood of the dying, yet you give him your blood? After he saved me from the blood rage, I swore I would never kill to feed. He said the same. We could cure him. It's too late. The blood of hate has run for too long. The antidote would not work on him. I tried. Believe me, I tried. Is he dangerous? What do you think? He is a thirsty echo who has not fed in centuries. An elder vampire driven by an urge to kill and spread the blood of hate. No redemption, then. And yet he thinks he has been offered immortality by the angels to protect the feeble and to smite the unholy. Can he communicate? Yes. Sometimes he even seems like the noble knight who saved and raised me. But you know, the malice never fully leaves his eyes. William Marshall infected you. He is the true original carrier. Yes. But he saved me by sacrificing himself. Saved you? How? The tears of angels. The cleansing of impure blood by an older, more powerful blood. It worked on me, did it not? Yes. Blood is the definitive key to our species. Scowls, cleansing, lineage. Do you really think it worked? It has, Jonathan. I was nothing but a beast who took pleasure in slaughter. 
I roamed across Europe, reaping my bloody crop. It was the blood of hate, but my father's antidote cured me. Who are you, really? How could I answer that? I went through many lives and identities to reach this day. To you, I am Elizabeth Ashbury, and that's all I wish to be. I need to know more. I want to know who you really are. Where you were born. Where you lived. I was born Elizabeth Samantha Mary Englewood in 1551 in Hertfordshire. My parents owned a pub in Hoddesdon. Are you satisfied? How did you meet William Marshall? He was an Econ for centuries when he found me. He saved me from certain death by making me his progeny. Did you ever blame him? Not even when he was infected and bit me. He is my father. He raised me. He taught me how to behave. Why did he choose you? You should ask him that. What about us? What do you mean? You know my feelings towards you, Elizabeth. Yeah. But you left without a word. And now you're so holding a sword. About your feelings towards me. I love you, Jonathan. I've loved you since the moment I saw you rescue poor Mr. Hampton in that filthy slaughterhouse. Forgetting the danger as you turned your back, like the newborn fool you were. You should have told me. No, Jonathan. The William Marshall myth lies at the heart of so many hostile plans. I could not risk jeopardizing his safety. So why did you come here? You knew I would follow you. I can't let you go. Because I know now the blood of hate is still in my veins. No one but I can put an end to this tragedy. I can help you. You can trust me, Elizabeth. I know, Jonathan. You have been the most loyal ally these last few weeks. But this is my duty. Would your protege agree to speak with me? I have... Be careful. Yes. So, William. My God. You really are William Marshall. You served Richard the Lionheart and his brother, King John. It is such a privilege to meet you. I did in my day. Come closer if you want to speak. For my hearing isn't what it used to be. Yeah, I'm not going to do that. hearing is fine, sir. What is it you want, then? <laughs> he ain't finna bite me, motherfucker. <laughs> I don't care who your kings were. I found and defeated the disaster that was threatening to smite London. You should know that the city is safe for now, Sir William. Then may I call you brother? Did you resist its poison? Even a scratch. Well, that's weird, because I kind of like your daughter, and you call me brother. That means that's my niece, and I don't know. You also defeated one in 1666. Who was it? She was a malicious witch who spread plague throughout the city with her army of rats. She had been hiding in a bakery in Pudding Lane for months when I finally found her. How did you defeat it? We fought for hours. In the end, I had to lock her in St. Paul's Cathedral and burn the building down. I wanted to be sure she was destroyed. I found your research on the antidote. The tears of the angels. What ingredients did you use? Once I understood what the ingredients were, I used the tears of King Richard and the pure blood of the valiant Bodicea. King Richard and Bodicea? 
How did you find such relics? It took me many years to locate their hiding place. Then I had to learn the formula. If I recall, it belonged to an ancient brotherhood. The Order of St. Paul, I believe. And did it work? Yes. The tears cleansed my poor Elizabeth's blackened heart. It was such a blessing to see her smile again. The blood of hate. How does it affect you? Do you feel it now? The blood of hate? Yes. Nothing more than a sneeze, really. A sneeze held for so long, you could blow a fortress down if you released it. Can we speak about the Morrigan? The Red Queen? What of her? You met her, did you not? Just once. But she never ceased to sing to me. I love her song. It is a song of blood and war. I only wish she would sometimes let me rest. Do you know who she is? I don't want to discuss this in front of my sweet Elizabeth. Why? For a time, she too could hear the red song. The steps she danced to its melody brought pain upon the world. I would like to ask you about vampires. Vampires? What about them? Considering your experience, please tell me what you know. They are terrible creatures. I have seen and fought many in my time. Foul temptresses with sharp claws and shrieking beaks. I have never seen such a creature. What are you talking about? Of course you've never seen a creature like them. Vampires are deadly, swift and implacable. Where did you encounter such creatures? The last time I saw one was in a Celtic temple near Salisbury. A terrible and godforsaken place full of ghosts and pestilence. Do you remember Murden, your maker? Only God is my maker, for he created everything on this earth. He blessed me with eternal life through his archangel, Michael. But Murden, Michael, is a vampire. He made you a blood-sucking creature of the night. Blood, yes. I used to drink it from the throats of the unworthy. Then I was punished for my deceit. During my penance, I rely entirely upon my sweet Elizabeth. How did you meet? Times were tough. I had awakened to protect the land from a new plague. I heard her sing for her dead family. Singing for her death to come, I chose to save her. What did you do? I raised her as my progeny. After she left to see the world, I rebuilt her deceased parents' inn. Owned it as William Thorne for a time. Those were good years. When was that? It was so long ago. A few years after Elizabeth of England and Catherine of France established their alliance against Spain. Tell me about Elizabeth. How was she infected? I do not wish to discuss it. Please, Sir William. I need to know what the blood of hate is. How is it transmitted? After defeating a disaster in St. Paul's Cathedral, I returned to my retreat, infected. This is where my sweet Elizabeth found me, for she heard my pain from across the sea. Where is this retreat you mentioned? In London, under Temple Church, beneath my empty tomb. I always love to sleep there while listening to the bell above. What happened then? The blood of hate had twisted me into a rage-filled man. 
I attacked my progeny and infected her too. Forgive me, Elizabeth. I failed you. You bit her again? Is that how she was infected with the disaster's blood? I think I understand now. Elizabeth fled, and I fell to my knees, begging for forgiveness. I swore I would find a way to make things right. Did you really sacrifice yourself to save her? That was the only righteous path. The blood of hate made me betray her. I am at peace here. I can think about what I've done and how I failed. You agreed to be confined here, then? Yes. Once I was sure she was cured, I asked to be locked down here. I deserve it. The world needs it. Do you not want to be cured? No. This hunger is mine. I would feel empty without it. It has been part of me for so long. All I want is quiet. Silence. We could set you free. Let you out. Isn't that what you want? I pray for the day I'll see the sky again. I have all but forgotten its colors. I could walk and do so many things beneath the stars. But I doubt it would be wise to release me. Then will you stay here and repent? Elizabeth told me it will not be long now. I cannot wait to feel the sweet caress of her hand on my cheek after so long as she releases me. Has the time come? Yes, Father. What about that? Do not unleash me then. To see the sky a final time. You already are the sky. And all its stars. I'm not defeated. For I welcome the sword you bear. For it is mine. You were never defeated, my lord. Uh oh, something's happening. Something's happening. Oh, that's a big sword. That's a great sword. Oh! Farewell, Father. <laughs> and to you also, Jonathan. Hey, hold on. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Okay. I can't stand what I've become. This healthy what carrier, I've become. as you put it. It's hard to never the flames change. will purify the poison that runs in my veins. No, no, I won't allow this to happen. No, do I not. I am death, Jonathan. Wherever I go, I can't stand it. I am Doctor Jonathan Reed. Yeah, champion of Murden. Yeah, chosen to save England from the Talk vampire epidemic. Shit. I could cure you. What do you mean? We are creatures of blood, Elizabeth. Everything about us is in our blood. With time, I could perfect the antidote William Marshall gave you. Trust me, for time is on our side. That is a risk I cannot take, Jonathan. I won't bring another such disaster into this world. Elizabeth, you will not. No, trust me. I wasn't there when it was created, but now I'm here now. How could I trust you, Jonathan? How could I'm I take such a chance? I'll stay here with you then. As long as we must until I find a cure. You have no idea what you're talking about, Jonathan. Despite his madness, William was strong enough to start the centuries. I doubt we can do the same. We will lock ourselves down then. I'll get all the material I need and I'll perform my research here with you until you're cured. Are you mad? Yes! Who would take care of us? Who would free us if it takes decades or even more? Old Bridget. Somebody will come. You are serious, aren't you? You really are ready to do this. Yeah. 
What do you I think forever you. means? <laughs> I can do this. Please stay with me. I I believe you. This is crazy, but I believe you, Jonathan. A match made in heaven sets the fires in hell. And that, ladies and gentlemen, what's the story? One Vampire. prayer for the oh. summoned called Anybody. by this song. Child born from darkness whose path he must find. Now the song is sung and your path chosen. England is safe for you have prevailed. I bid you farewell, my champion, bittersweet. You found yourself a newer quest, and so I leave you to it. My queen sleeps once again, and I'll soon join her slumber, until alas she rises, woken by the hunger never fed. A taste for blood. That's another one down, baby. Vampire. <sighs> After three years, it's over. Now let me let me do a little bit of research real quick, guys. Give me a little bit uh a little bit of time here as I Look back on the past, hang on. Uh <laughs> I uploaded up to the music. I uploaded the first vampire video on March fourth, two thousand twenty. The current day of this recording is July 29th, 2023. <laughs> it's been a long time. Let's do a quick review of the game, shall we? Well, trying my video capture and they're trying to remember three years worth of uh, gameplay. What? Is it going now? Okay, I PlayStation didn't want to start another another uh, video capture. Uh, I had fun with this game. I was so interested because of this time period in history. Very interesting to me, the beginning of the 20th century, exiting out of the 19th century, uh, especially in this location in England. Um. The game, I, uh, I think when it came out, it had got a lot of bad press because of how the combat system was being compared to, I think, Dark Souls. But uh, I never played Dark Souls. I played Bloodborne a little bit. Doesn't really remind, I mean, I guess a little bit with the dodge lock-on system. But the combat was okay. It, it could get a little bit clunky, definitely, like in that last fight with when the rare queen sent out her blood minions and it's hard to fight multiple enemies at once um the game also never even made it clear about killing people uh like story characters uh killing them it, i mean it has an effect but it and it, it doesn't mean much though all it all it really does is just makes you s slightly stronger and I really didn't even have to kill uh, kill them dudes. <laughs> I just wanted to do it because I went the whole game without doing it. I think there's a trophy if you don't do it, but I don't care. I'm not getting platinum on this. And the story is very interesting. Nice story. There's a whole lot of uh, there's a whole lot of uh, mingling with real world events. Like stuff that was happening in the real world, in our world, 
that are being hidden uh, because they were influenced by vampires. The death of vampires, uh, the creation of vampires, kings being, you know, stuff like that. That's all. That's always cool when they do that. And um, I mean, there was a couple funny parts. The one thing is that when you interact with the civilians, you never, you never fix anything. All you do is speak to them and learn about their secrets, but that doesn't change. They don't change. You know, like they don't change their behaviors. Their nothing. They just continue about their day exactly the same as before. And there's no real point to learning anything about the civilians if you don't intend on embracing them. So that was a little bit strange. But other than that, um, especially at the end there, when William Marshall is still alive, and he's Elizabeth's uh, surrogate dad, then he, then she cut his head off. I thought she was going to attack me at first, and then after she cut his head off, it was like you too. I was like, she going to kill me too? <laughs> Luckily, she didn't. We will now spend 500 years in that castle finding a cure. And that's it. I If they ever make a vampire too, I will play it. I will play it. I will make a video of it. They got the Unreal logo. This might be the end of the credits. We'll just keep talking to the credits in. To the credits roll. All the way through. You know, this is the first video in the rebrand, in quotation marks, the rebrand of my channel. This is the first game I decided to do along with Catherine. That was the very next video. We all remember Catherine full body. <laughs> but there's one game left from that time period I had to finish. And that game. It's not vampire. We finished it. That game that's left, check this out. We beat vampire. We beat Catherine. We beat what was it? Mafia? We beat Mafia. What other games that was I doing? Oh, Cyber, we beat Cyberpunk. There's only one game left. And that is need for speed heat. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Everybody, thank you for watching. I'm Mayo Ghost, kind of like a vampire. And I will see you on the other side.